Welcome to Real Life Money, where we talk about topics that schools don't, so let's get started. I did previously have a banking basics video going over checking and savings accounts, but I wanted to dive just for a checking account. Now, it could be a super simple topic, but if a school didn't teach you, or sometimes even your parents don't, even a super simple topic of a checking account can be complex because no one taught you. So this is why this video is up for you. So this is a course for checking accounts. No textbooks, essays, midterms, or finals are required. You're welcome. So a checking account is the most basic banking account you can have. So what it is, is instead of keeping money in your pocket or your wallet, you put it in a bank. Overall, banks are pretty safe places. You are insured up to quarter of a million dollars. So for most of us, we're fine if you have over a quarter million dollars. <laughs> Good for you. So let's set up a checking account. You go to the bank with your identification. Now what bank do you go to? Well, basically every bank is kind of the same depending on different features and minimum balances. However, since we're just looking at basic checking accounts, you can basically find the closest well-known bank to you. I'd suggest sticking to well-known banks. If you walk up to a bank and you look up and it just says bank, and you walk in and there's paint peeling off the walls and you're asking yourself, what kind of bank is this? And a manager walks up to you with a stained shirt saying, it's your kind of bank. You're like, yeah, no, bye. Now when you choose your bank, you sit down with a representative and they'll go over everything while opening up your account. Now if you have any questions, just ask them because that's what they're there for. One of the main questions to ask so you don't get screwed is the minimum balance. Knowing the minimum balance is very important because once you go below that minimum, there's usually a fee. Fees are no good. Now every bank is probably different with the minimum balances, but let's say the minimum balance for yours is a million dollars. A million dollars. <laughs> you see, I like to think big. A hundred dollars. Always keep a hundred dollars in your account so you don't get charged the fee. Every time you go below that, or even if you go negative, those fees add up. You'd be surprised how much money banks make on just fees. So checking accounts are good because when you have a check, you deposit it in your account. So instead of having a check for $500, you cash it and then you have 500 bucks in your wallet. You don't want to walk around with 500 bucks and you're not going to spend it all. At least I hope you don't spend it all because that's a problem and we're going to have to go over that in another video. So now that you have money in your account, you're golden. Now what banks also offer linked to checking accounts are debit cards. What a debit card is, is it's linked to your checking account. So it, instead of walking around with a wad of cash, you have this card. So it's essentially you're walking around with your whole checking account in your pocket with your debit card. When you use your debit card at a store or whatever, you swipe it and it takes the money directly from your checking account. Another feature most banks offer with accounts that you have with them is direct deposit. What that means is it links your employer, your job, to your bank. So your employer, instead of getting a check, they deposit it straight in to your checking account. Now those are the basic basics of a checking account. See? Easy. So thanks for watching guys. If this helped you out a bit, like and subscribe for more. I will be having other videos going over different accounts as well in the future. So I'll see you next time.